Besta and Magudumana failed to prove how the airing of the documentary would prejudice their right to a fair trial as the two are before court. The co-accused argued their rights would be violated should multi-choices Showmax broadcast the documentary, but the court dismissed the application. There is accordingly no basis that I can recognize in law upon which the relief the applicants have sought can be granted. The application must be dismissed. Multi-choice opposed the application, citing freedom of expression. The entertainment giant's attorneys argued that the information presented on the documentary was already in the public domain. While Magudumana's attorney argued that multi-choice will profit from a documentary that was concluded without consulting its subject. Uh, they have subscribers, millions of subscribers. They're going to pocket uh, the money using her images. You know, forget about the story. Is using her images, which they say it's there in the public space, well and good, but um, she will get her own, you know, space where she's going to also uh, give a side of the story through a documentary. The four-part series is expected to premiere later on Friday after being given the green light by the court. Balint Lemtetwa, SABC News, Johannesburg.